In this video, we'll be looking at one reaction that shows how a difference in surface area will change the rate of a chemical reaction. So here we have three tablets of Alka-Seltzer, and we're going to be mixing in about a half a cup of water. Alka-Seltzer contains both a base, which is sodium bicarbonate, and an acid, citric acid, which is usually found in fruit juices. It also has the pain reliever acetosalicylic acid, which is known as aspirin, so it has two acidic components and a base. When the solid pill is added to water, it fizzes, which generates carbon dioxide gas. This is the volcano reaction where the acid reacts with the base. The surface area of the pill will affect the speed of the reaction. So let's consider three options. We've got the whole pill, we have a broken pill, and we have a powdered pill. So this chemical reaction depends on the number of times the acid molecules bump into the base. The faster the pill dissolves, the more acid and base are available to react with each other in this aqueous solution. When we break the pill, we increase the surface area. That means the reactants dissolve faster and you get a faster reaction than with the solid pill. In the powdered reaction, we've increased the rate even further since you now have the maximum amount of surface area from the smallest particle size. So you have the best solubility, therefore we have the most places for the reaction to happen on the surface of the solid.